Today, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I clean a hat. So let's clean this up and see how it turns out. So, because this is mostly white, I'm actually gonna start with something like this. And I am going to give that some light spray on there. We're gonna let that soak while I get my water ready. We start running some hot water. Then I'm gonna rinse it out. And already you can see that the bleach has really started to help. I'm going to treat that again. The other thing the bleach will do is if there is any mold or anything like that that's active, it, it will help kill it. We'll also use some Dawn on it. The hot water will go a long way towards getting this cleaned up too. Now we're going to hit it with a little bit of Dawn to lather that up. And keep in mind, the bleach that you use will still lighten it some even after it's taken off. Think about any time you've accidentally got bleach on your clothes that they whitened as much after the fact as they did as soon as the bleach hit it. And that spot right there, I may want to hit that again with some bleach. But what we're going to do right now is get the majority of this cleaned up, make sure the sweat band is nice and clean. All right. This is a, a flat bill hat, so when I dry this, I'll keep the bill flat. And now see there, I'm starting to get some paint loss, so you gotta be real careful when you're taking that off. I don't wanna take off any of the paint that I don't have to. And hopefully won't get a lot of paint loss. This one had good elastic in it, which made it a really good candidate to clean up. This is what I would call a painter style cap. That's coming out pretty good. Still have some yellow right there. So I'm probably gonna treat that one more time and rub that in really well. I don't want to rinse it too hot because of the paint. I don't want to do any damage to that it. that isn't already done. Now the trick is to get this rinsed as, as good as we possibly can. And then we'll get it shaped. I've never left the bleach on there more than say 30 or 45 seconds at a time. This doesn't work on colors that aren't white, but the bleach pretty much won't have any impact on the areas like this that are painted. I don't like to scrub on this too hard because you can take the printing off of it. So if anybody's wondering, anything that says made in Taiwan, Republic of China, they haven't been able to put that on any products since 1997. But this hat's a little older than that. You can just tell from the style of it. Now I'm gonna rinse it completely in cold. I did find out it's a big mistake to use Melody's new towels for this process. And I've always thought the real trick to these is to get them the right shape while they're drying. This is more of a stretch to fit cap. If it is a snapback or a strapback, I will set it to the smallest setting possible. Now I'm gonna overstuff this, then I'll show you what we're gonna do. 
The trick to this hat, to this style, the top has to be flat. And we want it to be round because the top would have been round. So the flatter I get this top, the better this hat will come out as it dries. I try to make sure the sweatband is flat and that the tag is flat. It'll just dry better that way. And then I get that as flat as I can. And this is filled out as I can. And then we're gonna set this aside to dry and we'll come back and visit it once it's finished. And that is all there is to that. Check this hat out. Here's the paint loss you saw when I was working on it. Here's the top of it. And here's what the inside looks like. So overall, this turned out pretty nice. When you're working with hats that are primarily white, don't be afraid to use the Clorox cleanup. That's what I've used. And I don't leave it on there long enough to damage the fabric. If whatever it is that's on there can be removed, it does a good job of it. And then I use a little bit of Dawn to lather things up. And the, the trick is really, really, truly get these rinsed. And I get them as close to the proper shape as I can and then let them dry naturally. I hope you find something in it helpful. I appreciate you watching, and I'm gonna see you real soon on the next one. Bye.